Welcome to the Meet Mentor YouTube channel. Electric vehicles are rapidly changing the landscape of the automotive industry, and their increasing popularity is creating new investment opportunities in the stock market. As the world shifts towards a more sustainable future, the demand for electric vehicles is expected to skyrocket, presenting the untapped potential for investors. However, with a growing number of electric vehicle manufacturers and related companies, finding the right investment opportunities can be challenging. In this video, we will explore the untapped potential of electric vehicle stocks and highlight some key factors investors should consider when making investment decisions in this exciting market. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out, understanding the potential of electric vehicle stocks is crucial for maximizing your returns and staying ahead of the curve. But before we move on, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we have new video uploads. Now let's begin. Are you interested in investing in electric vehicle EV stocks but unsure of where to start? While many EV stocks have taken a hit recently, there is one area of the market that could be your biggest opportunity, lithium miners. I'll tell you why investing in lithium companies is a smart move right now. Lithium is a key ingredient in electric and rechargeable batteries and is driving prices to record highs. By investing in lithium miners, you can potentially make billions in cash flow. But which stocks should you be watching? We'll start with Lithium Chile, ticker LTMCF, the smallest of our five picks, with a market cap of only $105 million. While it's a riskier bet than some others, because it's a pre-resource miner, owning the rights and properties but still testing where to start mining, it could offer great potential. If you prefer a more diversified approach, the Global X Lithium and Battery Tech ETF, ticker LIT, is a great option. The fund owns shares in 41 companies involved in all parts of the lithium cycle and has returned an average of 10.7% per year since its inception in 2010. But why invest in lithium miners in the first place? With countries committing to phase out gasoline and diesel engines by 2040 and some automakers setting goals for 2030, demand for lithium is expected to grow by 30% per year for the next few years. Last year, global sales of electric cars more than doubled to 6.7 million, and EVs now make up 3.4% of all cars and light trucks in the U.S. By 2030, the EV share of the U.S. market is expected to reach almost 30%, which could mean more than $4.7 billion in annual sales. However, there's a problem. There isn't enough lithium supply to keep up with demand. Australia and China still make most of the world's lithium, but Chile is another big producer, making up about 24% of the world's supply. U.S. mines only make up 1% of the world's annual supply, but there is still potential in the 48.5% of the world's estimated 9.2 million tons of lithium that is in Chile. Australia and China hold just under a third of the world's remaining supply. However, Australia only has half of Chile's lithium reserves. This supply-demand imbalance is driving up prices, and it's likely to get worse. The price of lithium carbonate went up 413% last year, and the price of lithium hydroxide went up 254%. If we want to meet demand, we'll need a huge increase in supply. Looking back at the stocks in the lithium ETF, ALB is the top holding, making up nearly 10% of the fund. The company is the global leader in lithium and other chemical catalysts, with operations in 75 countries. This stock isn't a pure play on lithium, but it's still a leader, and it has exposure to both hard rock deposits in Australia and the lower cost deposits in the United States, brine in Chile. The size of Albemarle is huge, and the company's management is using that to drive growth. By 2026, the company wants to make $6.7 billion, which is a 15% annual growth rate. What's surprising is not just that strong sales forecast, but also that management is guiding to higher profits. They want the earnings margin to go from 25% last year to as high as 39% in the next five years, even though the dividend is only 0.85%. Sociedad Química y Minera de Chile, SQM, is a global chemical company that makes only 30% of its gross profits from lithium. So it's not a pure play on this theme, but there's still a lot to like about the company. It has a 19% market share of lithium production with a 96,000 metric ton capacity and is aiming for as much as 180,000 tons next year. It also controls 48% of the global market for specialty plant nutrients, which is another major growth market. 
Another smaller development company, Lithium Americas, LAC, is worth only $3.7 billion. The company is working with Gang Feng on its Argentina project and has permission to start building on its Thacker Pass project in Nevada. The company's management says it expects both projects to start making money later this year or early in 2023. The company thinks the Argentina field could have as much as 366,600 metric tons of lithium, while the Nevada project has just under 180,600 tons. Even with a 49% stake in the Argentina project, Lithium America's field alone is worth $9 billion. In conclusion, investing in lithium miners is a smart move for those looking to capitalize on the growing demand for electric vehicles and rechargeable batteries. As countries and automakers commit to phasing out gasoline and diesel engines, the demand for lithium is expected to increase by 30% per year. With a supply-demand imbalance, prices for lithium are soaring, and there is a huge opportunity for investors to profit. Lithium Chile, Global X Lithium and Battery Tech ETF, Albemarle, Sociedad Química y Minera de Chile, and Lithium Americas are all promising options for investors looking to enter the market. By keeping an eye on these stocks, investors can tap into the untapped potential of the lithium market and potentially reap significant financial rewards. So, are you ready to invest in the untapped potential of lithium and electric vehicle stocks? Tell us what you think in the comments section below. And that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and click the notification bell for future uploads. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.